I am super excited about this lesson because I'm going to teach you a trick with pivot tables that will make you look very cool in front of management and that takes very little effort. Basically, I have a list of students. I have their gender, the sports they play in, and their grade. And in this pivot table, I have the average grade. Now for gender, instead of writing male and female, which is boring, what we did is to have symbols for male and female, and I've added a slicer, which shows an icon for each of the sports they are playing in. And if you click on the other icon, everything will update automatically. How did I do this? Well, stay tuned and you will see. It is very simple, very easy. I'm going to start with the same data set here. And what I'm going to do is insert a table. Excel table. So I do insert table and then I say, okay, I have table two. I'm just going to call it students. Why did I do this? Because if you add a record at the bottom, you don't have to do anything except refreshing the pivot table and the data will come in automatically. If you don't have an Excel table, you will have to adjust the range every time and it's very cumbersome. So, the next step is to create a pivot table. So we're going to do insert, then pivot table from range. We're going to put it in the existing worksheet. So we're going to put it, let's assume here. And then we say, OK. If you see, if I put the gender in the row, I'll have male, female. If I put the grade, I'll have the sum of the grade, which is not what I want. So I click here, value field setting, and I select average. And then if I want to add, for example, for sports, I want to add a slicer. I'm going to have the names of the sports. So it's not very nice. What can I do? Well, let me introduce you to the emojis. If I go to the internet, I'm going to put a link to this site. You can search on the internet. You will see that there are different codes for different kind of emojis or different kind of icons. So for example, here you have the football one that I can take. You have the male one here that I can take and so on. So I'll let you look at them. But if you see, there are so many of them. So there are so many options that you can use. Now, in order to save time, if I go back to my Excel sheet, I'll go back to sheet one. I'm just going to copy paste this and put it here just so you can see. Here I have the different sports and I copy pasted the character number from this website. So I went and I checked for each one what is the number and I put it here. Then it is very simple. I just use Unicar and then the number and I will get the symbol. And those are my symbols. So what I'm going to do now is add a couple of columns to my table and do some if statement, switch statement to get the right symbol for those columns. So let's do gender symbol, gender sim, and then sports sim. Let's add just an empty column. So we are okay here. And let's make it white and let's start. For gender, I can use a simple if statement. Equal if, this one is equal to M, it's male. Then we can get this icon. Let's use the dollar sign with F4. Otherwise, we're going to use the female icon and let's use the dollar sign with F4. Let's close the parentheses. Everything comes in the table. I am fine. You can see that Biba is a female, whereas Nathan is a male. We're going to do the same thing for sports, but sports, I have three. So I'm going to use a switch case. So switch, what is my expression? My expression is the sports, comma, what is the value one? So value one would be basketball. Make sure you write it correctly. If it's basketball, I want this symbol, F4. Then my second one is tennis. If it's tennis, this is the symbol, F4. 
Then my third one is football. For those of you in the US, football for you is a different icon, but you can find it. And then we're going to use this icon with an F4. Close the parentheses and you get the icon for the sport. So now let's remove this slicer. We don't want it. And let's change what we have. So if I refresh this, you can see that now we get the two new columns. So instead of this one, let's remove it. Let's put the gender sim. Once I have the gender sim, now I have the symbols, which is great for me. And then I can right click here and say, add a slicer. And now we have the right slicer. Let's right click on the slicer, slicer settings, and then we can remove display header. We don't need the header. So now we only have the symbols. Let's just adjust it a little bit and let's put it next to it. Then it's a matter of formatting. So first of all, I'm going to just format this. So I'm just clicking on my table, my pivot table. I can use, for example, this one. You can use whatever you want. And then here we can just select those values, go to home, use the comma, and then press here. So we have the average now in a better shape. And then here on the slicer, if we click, we can, for example, choose this slicer. So we have the same kind of color template. We can just adjust it a little bit this way. And then we can just do whatever we want in terms of formatting. So here we can say, report if i don't like this row label i can just make the color of the font the same so for example that's the color so now it's still there but it's hidden and instead of average of grade we can do avg grade and then we have our report so the same thing i've done there i just chose a different color system but as you can see by just having an additional column by just doing a small if statement and using the uni characters you can make a fancy report from something as simple as this please let me know in the comment section if you like this methodology or you have ever applied it and as usual please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel